Let me welcome to the show. She is the founder, co-founder of Bikram Yoga Works and cryotherapy, which we're going to talk about as well as Wellness Wednesday. Let me welcome Kendra Blackett Dabenga. Hey. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right. She's not foundational, but we... <laughs> We like her because she's doing the work. She's a part of our foundation. She's from uh, you, your husband's from the Congo originally, and you're from Grenada. Grenada. Is so it, the Pan African Foundation. That's the foundation. This is I'm all, a part my of. whole point. If I'm we a eliminate people sorry. who are doing things, and you're not, I'm, I can't go there because you're not. What? Right. What? I I need my big room. So tell me first of all, because you, I think you were in corporate America yes. before you pivoted. Did you go to some fancy school and stuff, <laughs> Kendra? Did. Come I on, did. tell us the story. <laughs> well. um, Yes, I did. I went to Georgetown, uh, did international affairs and African studies, actually. Yes. Um, worked in Africa um, for about a year. Then I went to grad school. Which, which, which you know, Africa's a big place, Kendra. I went to... <laughs> worked in Africa, <laughs> the largest I in, continent. I was in West Africa in Benin, in a, a mm. small country, French-speaking um, country called Benin. Yeah, that's where um, um, Jamin Hansu is from, I believe. Yes, mm. yeah. And so I was there for a year, and then I went back to the Kennedy School of Government for my master's degree and... Boston University for my public health degree. Um, I went back to D.C., worked in international affairs, uh, specifically focused on Africa, children affected by HIV and AIDS mm. who had lost their parents. So I worked a lot on early childhood development and HIV. Um, and then I found my passion. Uh, I started taking yoga. Um, I started having kids. And then I said, you know what? I need to get out of this you know, international travel world and, and focus here and where I can actually see the benefit of what I'm doing. I could touch it on a daily basis. I could um, you know, reach the people who I, you know, and that was my passion. I wanted to be able to help people. And I realized every time I would travel overseas, I would come back so energized. And the reason was because I wasn't behind a desk, right? Mm. I was interacting with the people and I was, you know, hearing from them and learning from them. And I came back with such an energy that I was able to transform into my work. And then I realized when I, as I like, I love going back and forth to Africa and I still do. I still, I, there's um, Vikram Yoga in Africa now. Where? <laughs> um, what? In, Where? In Nairobi. Oh, right. Uh, yes, in Nairobi, So we can do Morocco. safari yes. and do Bikram. do Bikram. Yes, you can. We're going in 2021, actually, to oh, our, nice. <laughs> on our retreat there. Um, so, yeah, so I oh, can Wait, hold on. Yeah. What month? <laughs> um, March of 2021. I'm there. Yes. I'm doing it. Tickets. Please do. Book doing it. the tickets. Do it yes. now. Say Yes. <laughs> we're partnering now. with the trip wish list on this. Um, actually, we are calling them adventures. So we're doing a little bit of yoga and um, and adventure. So wow. we've mer merged the two this year. We're going to Morocco with 40 beautiful women um, just next month we're leaving. So mm. it's it's an exciting time. So I realized I could merge all of what I wanted, like my international travel going back and forth to Africa or pan-African countries, right? And 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 still do the things that I love to do, you know, mm. connect with people in, um, in, in different ways. So I watched the Bikram uh, documentary. Oh, yeah. Mr. Bikram <laughs> is very complicated and nasty. As, as we all are. <laughs> nah, we all Some aren't. Some challenges nasty. are a no. little more. No, sure. no, I'll Kendra, give you that. Kendra, I'll give you that. no, no, we all are not like Mr. Bickram. I'll give you that. No, no, we're all complicated. We are, no, yeah. but he's out there doing nasty things to, to people, allegedly. I mean, it's a lot of claims and wearing the diaper and then having the air conditioning just on him. Anyway, I watched all of it. I watched all of it. And I know why. Diaper, Karen, Whatever that. No, he looked nasty. Um, but what I was, what I, you know, I, I went, I went to the studio um, in Montclair and yeah. they changed changed the name yeah. because people were dropping the name after all of the allegations sure. uh, came out yeah. about Bikram's sexual um, in a, inappropriate behavior. Sure. And uh, But you didn't. I didn't. No. Why not? Because I believe Bikram Yoga works. Okay. <laughs> Regardless of <laughs> honestly, the person who... Yeah. Honestly, you know, as a yogi, I believe that, you know, my karma is my karma. Bikram, the man, has his karma as well. So whatever is happening with him, it's his karma. Like, mm. that's that's his thing to deal with. However, he's given us a system that works. Um, my life has changed. My husband's life has changed. My entire family's life has changed just by doing this yoga. I'm able to be more present for my family in my community and connecting with people and creating connection and that to me is a beautiful thing so Bikram yoga it works and so that's why, why not we kept so the so the space that I go to they do the exact 
26. Mm. They do the same yoga. Yeah. They just call it Fikram. No, I'm just playing. They yeah. call this well, something the else. Thing is that, the thing is I also, as a, as a black woman, I do have a problem with cultural appropriation. And and my thing is like I learned this thing from Bikram and, and I don't feel comfortable calling it by any other name. It just seems to me like I'm stealing something that Ooh. was given to me. Mm. And, okay. and I, and, mm. and it, it's, it, you know, it, it, people have very different um, views on this, but you know, Bikram yoga is Bikram yoga. There are many people who have created, you know, good people who have created bad things, bad people who have created good things. I mean, th- look that's at America. Tr- look at America. I mean, Thomas yeah. Jefferson. And still so, on the bill, so we so can't. Yeah. We can, exactly. So okay. we cannot be just, you know, um, you know, selective when it okay. comes to Need you know our values. Yeah. You know what let, I mean? Let me thank yeah. you for that. Um, yeah. Because eight six six eight zero one eight two five five. I think you know part of the discourse is we can have different. Uh, different opinions yeah but i respect what you just said and i and i see it yeah and, and it I'm, doesn't mean it, that i i uh, condone any negative behavior we are all about empowering women and about creating safe spaces for women and mm-hmm. that is our thing that is we control that bikram has nothing to do with my business he doesn't fund me we don't send him any money i did get the training from him and i value that training and that's what i'm offering to the people who come to my space mm-hmm. which is bikram yoga works yes. dot bikram. com yoga dot com, yes, dot com. all right so what's so transformative about it and if anyone out there is bickering bickering or yoga ying or you're <laughs> you're thinking about doing it give us a call 866-801-8255 what's so transformative kendra Bikram yoga is done in a heated room of 105 degrees and 40 percent humidity it is wait a- is that the the actual climate that it has and Why sometimes that? hotter um you know the idea being that you're putting your body under a, a type of stress that allows you to um you know loosen up and become more flexible more free um but the the heat also serves another purpose of you know in in life when you think of you go out in, into the world and you're faced with all these different distractions all these different things that are coming your way in that hot room we actually create <laughs> life you know mm. you're coming in to pressure it's like a pressure cooker how do you survive 90 minutes in a pressure cooker? And then when you leave out of there, you're like, I'm bulletproof. Um, you know, I can I can handle anything that comes my way because I just did a 90 minute Bikram yoga session. The heat serves multiple purposes. It is a distraction for people, but in that distraction, you allow to, you learn how to focus, and that's a beautiful thing. Mm. A lot of people are so distracted now. Um, you know, you coming into the room. We've been we've been looking at just different place like exercise spaces where people are like they have their Fitbit and they have their I. Apple watches and and you're just like whoa wait what whatever happened to the intuitive nature of the body like how we become in tune with ourselves you looking at yourself in a mirror that's also a key part of Bikram yoga you have to stare at yourself for 90 minutes and under bright lights in these big mirrors and you're like wow you have to face everything about yourself in that moment mm. and you become <laughs> aware of your own truth <laughs> mm. you can't hide from it uh, I remember you know not not to overly quote Bikram but he used to say the dark the um, darkest places under the brightest light mm. and and is in essence what we create in the hot room you know an opportunity for you to really understand who you are at your core you know who you are at your core and then you are able to be powerful in that you know once you know who you are so when did it turn for you and uh let me just say Lori, we'll see you Bye. yes okay Lori has to leave love you guys love you too thank you for being here today when did it turn for you Kendra, when did you, the light bulb go on and you were like, this is my jam right here. This Mm -hmm. is the thing. Actually, it was a, one of my favorite teachers that I was taking, and she happened to tell me, you know, when I first started taking her class, she said to me one day, she said, you know, you better get your husband into this because, you know, I see you've been coming for a lot, uh, a lot. I haven't seen him yet. I said, she said, but the more you do this, you're gonna find that you'll go this way and he'll go that way. So you gotta get him into it. I went home and I said, Omega, oh, go, you know, he, she said that if you don't do this yoga, we're gonna start splitting ways, you know. And so he started coming in, and 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 the more we started doing it together she just one day I was in class and I, it was, I had one of my best classes with her and she at the class she said Kendra why don't you go to teacher training and I said me I'm like you know I'm still in my career I'm you know senior director of this in, in in my field and I'm known as an expert in this you know nothing to do with yoga and I said me really so 
she planted the seed for me. And then as I started having my children and realizing they didn't want to keep going overseas and leaving them for extended periods of time, I said, you know, maybe she got something. I went to teacher training. My husband supported me in that. And I had the best time of my life. It was an opportunity for me to 100% focus on myself. And I realized I could do this for the rest of my mm. life. Yeah. And I, I've been talking a lot about this, you know, creating the world you want to live in. Sure. But that starts with you knowing yourself and knowing what it is that you were put here to do. And that's a journey that's right. uh, in and of itself. That's, that's a journey right. that people should take, not lightly, be patient with yourself. It's okay if you don't know. There's nothing wrong with you because most of us don't live our truths. Most of us do not. But if you have an opportunity to take a beat to do that, to find it, do it because it helps right. all of us when you are your full self. Exactly. But then you take that and turn it into a business. Not many people do that, Kendra. Like, that's a whole other thing. It's one thing to teach. Yep. It's another thing to open one, two, three, four, five studios. Yep. You, you know what, Karen, though? The, the, the lesson that I think that I, you know, I'm teaching to my children and to anybody who is interacting with me is that when you find your purpose, all of these things start to come, right? And so I thought... I, I actually wrote in my business plan before we opened our first location that within 10 years we'll have, you know, five locations. We got to six locations in five years, you know. Um, and You have it, six? Well, we had. We okay. closed one of the okay. locations. But, you know, within five years we had grown to six locations. And I always say it, it's because I'm living in my purpose, you know. If it wasn't th that I had found my purpose, none of this would have come because I found, you know, one came and then the next one came and these opportunities started opening up for me that I was like, wow. And then people started coming on top of that and just kind of saying, hey, I want to help you do this. I want to help you do this. And that's why now I'm just like, even with all the ch quote unquote challenges that I have as yeah. we are, are, are a growing and, business. And so let me pause too, because mm -hmm. um, I think people, we talked about this last night too with Bishop Swan, yeah. you know, as you move in your purpose, I won't call it the enemy, yeah. but life conspires because there's That's always right. going to be obstacles. That's right. And I think the obstacles are set up similar to like, if we're going to use sports analogy, you, you're going to have people blocking That's right. the people coming to tackle you. That's right. And your job is to build up your muscle to, to be able to stiff arm That's it. or find your jab step. That's the it. spin move like you you have <laughs> and to I've, develop those and those things. who know me know i love a challenge you know so so all these things started coming like last 2019 was that year where it was just like one thing after the other and i and people said don't be stressed and i'll just tell them i'm not stressed i'm actually blessed and i'm glad and i'm grateful for these opportunities because i have to learn these lessons you when know when do you learn them That's unless it. the optical it, you can't it. learn unless there's something that comes how do you build a muscle if you don't have the the resistance right? right muscle is built That's in resistance right. so so it, how does bikram help i i know how it gets your mind together i actually know how it get there was somebody in my bikram class when i was in florida when i had mm -hmm. a house in florida and i went to, i did like i was doing bikram every day just about to the point where my body was expelling things that i didn't know was inside and I didn't had to change my diet and everything. It <laughs> yes, was crazy. Yes. But there was a lady that had gotten in a car accident mm. and she like couldn't walk for a while. Mm. And um I never forget she was like she started doing Bikram and she was the most flexible person in that class and she was an older lady but she could do every move and I was like because you know at some point when you're if you're just starting out you're going to tap out like 30 minutes in, maybe 20 minutes in. It's going right. to be that pose is probably the one where you got to sit on your leg and put the other leg up and then bend all the way down. Yes. And I was like, I can't do that yet. Right. You know, she did that, all of it. How physically, yeah. you know, because you had two kids. Yeah. Were you physically out of shape? You have three now, <laughs> but at the time you were starting. Yeah. No, I've always been a pretty um, in shape person. Obviously, when I started working and doing the international travel, my workout stopped because I used to, I was in the gym all the time. I was a personal trainer um, before I even came back down to D.C. And so that life, that was me. I was the, I was the gym rat, you know what I mean? My husband and I used to go and work out all the time. We even had our little P90X at home and we would do that at home. Um, um, but the the yoga, one of the things I realized that, you know, I can create muscle actually pretty fast, but the yoga helped me to maintain my my figure, my shape, my my weight without doing much. You know what I mean? I didn't have to go pump the weights. I didn't have to bang up my joints by running. I didn't have to do all these other things. And the yoga was that, that perfect thing for me because I had a high stress job. I had my children. I had my family life. I had, you know, this growing business. And I'm like, that's when I when I feel out of alignment. I got I get back on my mat. Ninety you know? minutes. Ninety, 90 minutes, minutes is where it's at. All right. So what is the um 
mentality or the 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 process or what why the 26 poses why do, why do, why these why not 25 why not 20 why not 15 well, like why are these 26 poses important you know i think you know bikram created them through a process of trial and error but the whole idea behind bikram yoga is that you are working every single muscle ten, tendon tissue joint ligament organ of your body so every one of those poses gets to each part of your body. And, so and if, you, if I tap out and I'm missing... You miss it. I'm missing so we the, always tell yeah. people, even if you have to skip one set, you never miss two of them, right? So you, Because everything works. So you, it goes on the system of con compression. So and then when you start here with the yes, neck. Yes. Then that goes into the next thing. Into the shoulders. Right. Into the, you know, then you're going into the core and the abdomen, the legs. You're warming up the legs and the ankle joints and all of that. And these are all things that, you know, the idea behind um, exercise, right, is really movement, is stretching. As a, And a lot of people, think, oh, I'm exercising by running. But exercise is really about movement and it's about stretching and the about allowing the body to be fluid and, and do what it's designed to do. And that's what Bikram Yoga enables people to do. We have people as old as 80 years old coming to the class and they're like daily practitioners and they're they're not on medication. They're not on any, you know, they don't have to worry about um, these health issues because they've they've become, um, you know, they, they're yogis and they're doing this thing on a consistent basis. Mm. Yeah. It's like those folks, uh, the Asian folks we see in the park doing the, you the know, chai tea doing, and yeah, things like that. And yeah. it's like they're like yeah. 80. You know yeah. that they're 80 and yeah. they're moving in a way that because I'm jealous. Because the moment your body stops moving, that's when you start seeing, um, you know, disease sets in, mm. right? You know, tumors. What's a tumor? When you think what of is a, a tumor, tumor you know, it, I mean, it's a blockage. It's stuck. It's something that's just there. You know what I mean? That's not moving. So when you think of your body not being able to move, that's when you start seeing, you know, think of people once they retire, they sit. Like I was like my Apple Watch yesterday said I was in the car for a couple hours just going to pick up the kids and drop, bringing them back home. You have been sitting for too long you know what I mean it told me to get up and I'm like that's right you know we sit too long you know so with the body's not moving you're creating opportunities for stuff to get stuck let me tell you that that one week that I did Bikram straight yeah I went I had um to try I had to go to an event and I was I think I was speaking somewhere and I went to try on a clothes and mm. I had like this what I thought was a bruise mm. on my stomach and I went to touch it in this silver thing like it this thing just shot out of my body oh my god and it was hard it was metal looking and, and I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. you know we collect metals i'm like what the hell mm -hmm. is this but if i hadn't been doing bikram i know it wouldn't i was like what and it didn't hurt right. i didn't know what it, i was like what is this and it was like that's right. Pow, that's right. right out of my body <laughs> that's good yeah that, 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 the beauty about bikram too is that it's a detoxification so people are like well why the heat is because you're actually your skin is the largest detoxification organ that you have in the body so you're going to be constantly sweating in the room. You're going to be expelling stuff. <laughs> that's where you start to see the smell. You start to be like, oh, yeah, that's why I know? need to, to do it privately in my own situation. We got to get you your video. Yeah. We're going to get gonna, you your video. You're going to hook me up? <laughs> yes. All right, we're going to come down. So I'm definitely committed. I, I've been promising for three years to come down yes, here. Yes, please do. And I'm waiting for the weather to break because okay. I'm going to do that. Um, 866-801-8255. So Big Room Yoga Works, where can people go? To find your Bikram yoga, you can follow y'all on yeah. Twitter at Bikram, B-I-K-R-A-M, Yoga Works. But where can they go to sign up? And mm -hmm. are your classes expensive, Kendra? Well, you know, if you're brand new to our studio, it's only $49 for the first month. And you can go to any of our studio with that price, you know, and then you can take any class that we offer. So we offer Bikram yoga. That's our mainstay. But we also offer other types of yoga like vinyasa and yin yoga, which is more of like the relaxation stretching. Um, and then we also offer the hot Pilates, which is amazing workout for the core. Um, all of the, what we do. Hot um, Pilates. Hot Pilates. It plays do on you, each other. Do you have the machine? No, it's mat based. Okay. Um, but it's high intensity interval training um, with Pilates principles. So you really get a nice core workout, full body. Um, and people who are doing the Bikram yoga and the hot Pilates find that they get stronger. In now, I've seen your husband, Amakongo. Yes. Uh, he's muscular. Yes. Does he lift weights? So is this all the, the Bikram and the Pilates? He used, he used to be big into the weights until he got a little bit too big. And I said, eh, I don't know if I like the bulk. You know what I mean? But um, so he's slimmed down with the yoga, but he's still he's tight. Toned, yeah, I've seen him. You know? He's yeah. stratified. Yeah. And that's all from the Pilates and the Bikram? Mm -hmm. Yep. Who knew? Yeah. Okay. And he, he he be jumping in the cryo chamber as well. You know, Oh, he does tell me about other... that. What is this cryotherapy? <laughs> so we all, you know, we actually offer the extreme so we have hot yoga and cold 
cold therapy. So cryotherapy is really cold therapy. We have a, a chamber, cylindrical uh, chamber that it goes to about minus 220 degrees. <laughs> and um, the beauty about cryotherapy is that it really helps with um, decreasing inflammation, people who have arthritis or uh, pain in the body, um, pre and post operation um, um, periods where their body's kind of in this kind of inflamed state or they're trying to recover from surgery. People who are depressed and need a, a endorphin boost, you know, they get into the cryo chamber. There's so many benefits to it. If you suffer from migraines, you might find relief from the cryo chamber. Um, the thing is about the American diet is that is inflammatory. You know, a lot of people walking around with inflammation um, that is diet related. And so how do you kind of keep the body out of this kind of constant inflammation, which is when we start seeing autoimmune diseases, right? So you, the idea is to keep the inflammation down, which is what cryotherapy does. Um, a lot of people who are coming into the Bikram yoga, they have knee problems. And a lot of it's, you see, you know, big knees, like they're just swollen. They get into the cryo chamber and they have amazing classes. So if you're looking for energy, I used to do it for energy. I used to, like I was tired just from, you know, the kids and the business and I'll, I'll go and I was, I'll feel like really, How long are you in a You're in it for three minutes. Okay. I was like 220 <laughs> below. Come on. Three minutes. Only. Three minutes. Mm-hmm. Three minutes only. And, um, and it's a quick thing. We talk you through it so you don't get like you know freaked out looking at the clock or anything like that we talk you through it but it goes by pretty fast and you feel amazing afterwards that's that's the best thing about it okay where where are these places <clears throat> in every place has a cryo we have chamber? Um, cryo we have the cryo chamber in our ivy city dc location as ivy well. city yep. dc this mm-hmm. dc location and our riverdale park maryland location those are where we have the chambers and we have localized cryotherapy where we can do spot treatments like you have um you know a shoulder issue back issue lower back knees we can ankles we can do spot treatments at all of our locations um but the t- chambers are at those two okay so it's ivy city D- dc and riverdale, riverdale maryland where are your other studios we have um baltimore maryland now mount vernon location um that's our newest location mount vernon mount is that, vernon is it's that the arts maryland? district it has in baltimore um and then we have a district heights location which is located inside of the athletic republic facility it's a sports training facility for youth. Um, and they also have, you know, basketball. So it's also a gym for those of you who want to join the gym. Um, and then we have the Boston location, Boston, <coughs> Massachusetts. Why? But that's like, I get D.C., right. Maryland, 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 D.C. Right. right. Boston, Mass? We grew up in Boston, Karen. So our family's in Boston. It was an opportunity for us to, um, you know, go to Boston more and see the family. So how do you manage all of that? Well, you know, two of my sisters teach at the Boston location. Did they come in after you? They did. Okay, all right. So you've turned this into a family crusade, a a family family mission. Yes. I like it. I like it because when we do things together, we succeed. That's right. And and when the enemy comes, you now have a power pack around you. Yes, Yeah, because they're coming. They're coming. They have a shield. Yes, and you have to put it up because people get jealous and people, you know, I'm sure you're in neighborhoods that people may not think you should be in and, and maybe... People prefer your yoga because you're proficient. I've watched mm-hmm. you. I've watched video. Mm-hmm. You are amazing. Thank so you. I'm sure that you probably have a lot of haters out there. <laughs> we, well, yes. <laughs> but, you know, we don't focus on that, really. A lot of people, as there have been people who've joined the team, and um, they'll say, well, do you know what this studio is doing, this studio? And I'm like, no. no. <laughs> Actually, I don't care what they're doing because, you know, we're focusing on our purpose. I just had that conversation with somebody who mm-hmm. had a beauty parlor last night and they were like, um, I think I'm not successful because people are hating and this and that. And I was like, if you focus on what you need to do, <laughs> then you can't worry about it. Mean, people That's are going, right. here's the message. If you're successful, yeah. people are going to hate on you. That's, That's a compliment. Yeah. That says that I must be doing something really amazing. They if, hate if, on you or they copy you. <laughs> We yes. have a lot of copycats Do now. You? That, yeah, yes. Because you're one of the first black big. I have, I didn't know because even watching the documentary, there aren't very very many black people in the documentary. The voice of black people in the whole Bikram world has, I think, been muted. And I think this is this is our this is why I wanted to reach out to you and say, you know, let's talk about it because we are changing lives. You know, we are actually getting people off of medication. We are preventing people from getting surgeries that their doctors claim they needed. You know, we are actually getting people. You know. T- their high blood pressure is in, in check. Their diabetes in check. You know what I mean? Um, they're recovering from, you know, operations faster. You know, we are doing something in a, in communities that haven't had access to these services. And for us to be muted in this, it, it, it bothers me because yeah. I'm saying, you know, 
our people need it just as much, if not more, yes. because of the, you know, more. just... Because of the stress, the trauma and the all of that. And, and, and we're not used to doing that. And our diets have been, you yeah. know, disproportionately yeah. horrible. And we and now we got it. We have a tribe of people who are coming together and they're bringing people like we have actually grown primarily through word of mouth. You know, people are telling people you got to come not only because they get a great workout, they feel great, but they feel community, you know, and that's yeah. something that, that you know, you don't see everywhere. And when people say, well, I went there and I didn't feel comfortable, I didn't feel I was the only one yeah we have changed that you know our our spaces are very diverse it has everybody under the sun it's not just you know a particular prototype of a yogi you know and that's a beautiful thing now if i want to become a yogi somebody's listening yes and they want to become a yogi are you training people to become yogis yes Kendra? we're gonna have our first training in august of this year so really excited about that so we'll be, make the announcement of the dates on february 22nd which is our six-year anniversary so thank you karen yes. for having us on um it's our six-year anniversary february 22nd so we're going to be announcing the dates of our our training but it will be in august um for the month of august so we're we're excited about it we're preparing it now um you'll be able to sign up through the website bikramyogaworks.com bikramyogaworks.com kendra blackett dabenga she is going to be training yoga so if you want to be a yogi you're going to be trained you're going to be trained by the best she's gone i saw um a video i think uh on mcongo sent you train like a hundred people in Mexico or something? Yeah. yeah. What yes. the, how do you train a hundred people in Mexico? Well, you know, we taught the class. It was an opportunity, you know, when we teach, um, especially when, now when I teach, I, my teaching is almost workshoppy, you know? So, um, it's an, it was a great opportunity to share what I know and what I've learned, um, just from my own personal practice and also teaching many other people. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're going to keep in touch. I'm, I promise yes. I'm going to get to, one of the Please Baltimore let us ones. Plan it because we, which one? We, which one? I want to do the cryo. So you can have Ivy City DC or, or, or Riverdale. Riverdale. Yep, DC or Riverdale. Now, what does Riverdale Park look like? I've never been to Riverdale Park. It's it's very quaint. It's, okay, it's a small that's perfect town. for me. Yeah, it's it's and it's beautiful. We have parking there. We have and actually, um, a, a vegan restaurant is coming in below. Are us. you vegan? I am. Um, no, I'm not a vegan, but I eat eggs. But um, <laughs> but I'm mostly vegetarian. Okay. Yeah. Um, but the vegan restaurant is opening up underneath us in Ivy in Riverdale Park. So when you when? come, um, next month. Actually, okay. Then yeah. I'm- Riverdale Park, it yeah. is. Yeah, All so right. please come and we'll film it. We'll, yeah, we, yes, we we will be ready. We already we have a film crew, but I'm sure you'll bring, bring your own, own people. Yeah, because I'm. You know, um, yeah, I'm we would sure love to have you. My there. Brand. No, I'm just <laughs> oh, I got you. I hear you I'm on that. Playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. No, I, I will see you next month. I appreciate you and stay in touch. February Thank 22nd, you. you're gonna make that announcement. Maybe we could do it yes. here as well. Yes. All right, Kendra, tell I'm a Congo. I said, hey, I will. I will. And please look forward to joining us in Kenya in 2021. No, I'm serious. We're gonna talk off mic. Sounds All right, Big Rum. B-I-K-R-A-M, yogaworks.com.